the plot to truncate the 2023 general election. We have to do this on emergency because we didn't want it to wait. And I will read to you on text. Many well meaning Nigerians and patriotic political leaders, as well as concerned political parties, have watched with trepidation the series of orchestrated plots to truncate the 2023 general election in Nigeria, or at worst, ensure that the outcome of the election is anything that is credible, free, and fair. The Independent National Electoral Commission had earlier alerted the nation of attempts by unscrupulous and mischievous political actors to hack into the business and compromise the system led out by the commission to commission by commission to compromise the election. The INEC has shown a bewildered nation, a bewildered nation, that this dastardly act failed to achieve its purpose. The mischief makers and their well-entrenched sponsors sponsored widespread propaganda that the transition of results from the cooling units was not possible, claiming that a large percentage of Nigeria's geopolitical area, geographical area, did not have access to internet coverage. Again, this propaganda failed, as it was proved beyond reasonable doubt that over 90% of Nigeria's geographical area as adequate internet penetration. The plot now shifted to high level efforts to sack the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub. Again, vigilant and watchful Nigerians rose to the defense of the INEC chairman and the commission based on his track records. That plot appeared to have abated but not over yet. Some of us now have credible intelligence that there is a well-oiled and technologically backed scheme in conspiracy and collaboration with service providers in Nigeria to shut down the system and critical technological infrastructure designed for the successful conduct of the election to force INEC either cancel the election or resort to the obsolete, outdated, and judicial manual collection system. Again, this attempt is to sabotage the critical natural infrastructure either before or during the election so that the critical IT infrastructure, including INEC facilities for transmission of results, will be affected. The President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Buhari, has repeatedly assured Nigerians, the United and International Community, that he was determined to bequeath to Nigeria the legacy of a credible and transparent general election, in which the choice of Nigerians has freely expressed through the ballot box, will be respected and protected. It is based on the assurance of Mr. President that we call on him to take immediate steps to call to order those behind these various plots. We believe strongly that he has adequate intelligence and machinery to monitor and track those plotting to set Nigeria ablaze. It is to the credit of the President that he has provided the Commission with the required funds to implement a credible election. It is also to the credit of the National Assembly that it promptly appropriated 
more than 350 billion naira of taxpayers' money to enable INEC to carry out its statutory functions seamlessly. Eligible Nigerians are poised to participate in this election in the belief that their choices as expressed in the ballot box will be respected. It is clear to the world, Nigerian international community, that Nigeria is sitting on the cake of gun power, gun power. There are flashpoints all over the country as a result of existential challenges Nigerians are facing. The only hope left for Nigerian citizens is that the forthcoming general election will usher in new governments at all levels to address their numerous problems. The only hope left for Nigerian citizens is that the forthcoming general election will usher in new governments at all levels to address their numerous problems and make the life worth living for them. It is with every sense of patriotism and responsibility that we want that any attempt to make life that we want that any attempt to truncate the 2023 general election will plunge the country into an irredeemably conflagration that will threaten the corporate existence of Nigeria. I repeat, for emphasis, it is with every sense of patriotism and responsibility that we want that any attempt to truncate the 2023 general election will plunge the country into an irredeemably conflagration that will threaten the corporate existence of Nigeria. Nigerians are appreciative of the determination and doggedness of INEC to deliver to Nigerians a credible, transparent election. Similarly, Nigerians are equally appreciative of the commission resilience against powerful forces that are determined to truncate the elections and mess up the diligent plans of the Commission for the election. Our prayers are with the patriotic officers and men of the Commission. That is our prayer. Thank you very much. Your questions you ask. We shall We listen to your presentation. All these fears, assumptions, suspicions, rumors. I just want to know from where are they coming? It's just enough to tell us that there are rumors. How would they understand this is where the rumors are coming? These are the things for me. These are rumors that the 2023 general election is under threat. Yes, it is very, it's very simple. You see, that's why you have intelligence. Intelligence will expose to you things that are yet to be done or to be carried out. And if you have such intelligence, you put it to the public domain as major stakeholders so that the appropriate authorities, the security agencies will go into it. We have given you a synopsis of all that has happened since which we alerted the nation before they came to court. Now we are telling you the last resort. Maybe they will have another one. The last resort is, they are talking with the service providers. You know you don't need them per se when you are doing accreditation. But they will be needed after both when the result will be transmitted straight to the south. They want to, they want to shut down. So that that exercise will not be done. And you'll be told that there has been serious problem with the cloud, with the whatever, that it will take two, three, four days 
to rectify. By that time, Nigerians will be anxious, waiting for the results of the election. So what is important now, that since this thing has come to fall, is for the president to call to order these service providers, who are in any case, the same thing with those that are making it impossible for things to move in this country. You are asking who are those? One, those at every level who believe that they are losing power. Two, those who don't want this change with the young people in this country, and most Nigerians are yelling. So they will do everything within their capacity to ensure that things don't move smoothly. The chicken has come to roast. We had a meeting with INEC yesterday, without the political parties. INEC is ready. We are ready. But yet, we have there is this smoke in the air. If INEC is ready, the parties are ready. You will say it is okay. What about the security agencies? Are they ready? We have seen samples of where people are attacked during campaign. Where people are attacked when they are pasting posters at, before the security agencies. And they do not. So would they be able to do something when you have this insecurity all over the place? So the president has assured us, and we believe him very much. The next thing is to make sure that these results are not transmitted direct to INEC from the polling units so that they have the opportunity to manipulate. They have the opportunity to do the old way of manual collection, collection of results. That is where they're going to. And we don't want it. INEC reassured us yesterday they're ready, they're prepared, they are good to go. In fact, most of the essential and essential materials are already in the States. So you can see they're ready. So you have three colonists, those who don't want Nigeria, unpatriotic Nigeria, who don't want Nigeria to move forward. They are the ones plotting this. Imagine you get them to and blow, uh, well, they are, they are never their names. Uh, and I'm of all of them, something down at the same time. It will be a problem. So they must give the president the undertaking that they do everything within their capacity. And the, the name of patriotism to make sure that that doesn't happen. That is the only problem we have now. Then the security, the president will handle that. So those people are known. Those who don't want the system to change. Those who want, don't want the common man to eat. Those who still believe that the little child should go to bed with that food in the stomach. These are the people that are doing these things. These are the people that have carried billions of dollars and stuck it in their homes, in the soccer way, in the roof. Now they are crying. Why are they crying? They have sought for extension. They have been given extension. And yet, they did not take the money to the bank. Because the money was not meant for the bank. The money they have hidden somewhere is not meant for the bank. It's meant for election. So they have not taken it. They got a central bank interim order that will lapse tomorrow. By tomorrow, the order will lapse. Yes, they have not taken the money in. They are still fighting. That will tell you that the money they have stolen, which they have hidden somewhere, is not meant for the bank. It's meant for this election. And that's why some of us are saying, Central Bank, with the other lapse to go, please move more money to the banks to ease the problem and hardship on Nigerians. The least money, the money has already expired by tomorrow. So don't bother about it. It has expired. It will expire by tomorrow. So release more money in the banks. They can no longer use it to buy votes. And the money you release will not be enough to be more tough to buy votes in the next one week. So it's, it's, a, it's a serious matter. You had a, a chieftain of NNPC, uh, NNPP, sorry, not NNPC. Uh, when he reported yesterday, last week, that there is a serving governor in the Northwest who has 22 billion in his house. He was one of those that went to court. He was one of those that went to court. So, where are we? 
Where are we as a country? The problem is that Nigerians steal what they don't need. That is my problem. Still, if you in the Bible, there were people that stole. And they were treated accordingly. But why must you steal what you don't need? What are you doing with $22 billion? Even if you have 10 wives and 40 children, they can't finish the money. With their job just to sit down and chop money, they won't work. That is the problem. So this is the problem. What, what central bank should do is release money, let Nigerians who are looking for 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, collect it and go and move on. But don't listen to those ones that have carried their money and did it all. That money will turn toilet paper by the time the Supreme Court judgment elapses to run. It will turn to paper and they will cry and will be laughing. We didn't ask you to steal. Go and carry your cross. And don't use the court to justify bad behavior, to justify stealing. They should not use the court. They have an opportunity to take the money to the bank. Of course, security has been monitoring them. Even that information was released by Robert Adema. Security has been monitoring them. They are waiting for them to come to power. But they don't want to go to power. They want to use it for election. Both at state level, state assembly, house of even as president for the presidential election. That is the reason. That is the reason. Yes, all of us are facing this pain. I queued last week. I said it in an equity yesterday. My number was 37. When they got to 35, the money finished. I left. I went and queued somewhere. My number was 100 and something. But uh, 200 so I think they have done 100 and something. I went there, I got 20,000. I left. People were making noise. I said, no, 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 I I educated them. A lot of them did not talk again. Say, said, if you say this, it's not correct. We have to feel the pain now. To enjoy tomorrow. We are so feeling it. If you sack me here and I lose it, I can't. So when they say politicians are the one having the money, I'm not part of them. We know those having the money. We are those trying to change the society. We are those trying to, we are fighting for common good. Greatest happiness for the greatest number of people. That is what we start. So I have answered the question. Thank you. Thank you.